So you just imported your VTuber model inside of Live Studio and you got no clue what to do next? Don't worry, I am here to help you. I am Yoshino Art and today I will show you how to do body Z and head Z, which is also a very good first step to do to start your VTuber model. So remember that I stream on Twitch, name as usual Yoshino Art. In this channel I rig, draw, have fun. If you want, feel free to come. We're right now in a partner push if you feel like helping me in to reaching that partner achievement feel free to come and i will be very very happy to see you before starting let me remind you that this video is part of my playlist how to live 2d where i am trying to make tutorials as beginner friendly as possible and i'm trying to cover every different topic for you to make a perfect and complete model so please feel free to check all of them out i cover different topics eyes eyebrows head xy puffy cheeks whatever also feel free to leave me comment uh, asking for the new topics so i can get your ideas see what you want and maybe i might make the tutorial that you need but let's now start don't look at this hips z parameter here is the same tutorial that i recorded for hips z for the hips swing if you're interested in that i posted it uh, you will find it in the playlist Anyways, let's say that you imported your model and you're here, you got no clue what to do, you have some parameters here, but what to do, don't worry, I will help you. Okay, first step, first step ever actually is to make the meshes. Um, usually what you want to do is just to select everything, hit auto, preset, standard, you might and surely will actually work on some of the meshes by hand to make them more detailed but we're not looking in that in this tutorial today okay so first step that we can do now is actually to make a body z it's very easy you select all of the elements that are supposed to move if you tilted your torso from left to right and then you click this you call it body z and hit create now holding control and shift you pull it down around at the belly button so let me do a ctrl z just to show you if you don't click control it's gonna move also the body instead we want to move only the rotation point because right now it has the weird rotation if we hold the control we move the rotation point and the shift is to move it along the vertical line by the way if you don't have this vertical line you can go show guide guide settings add a new one hit new guide and add a new one vertical now on body z we can make it this active in body z here very easy slide to the left and here we have an angle you can change this usually uh somewhere like 10 sorry the left is minus 10 or minus 15 depending on how much this is not how you're supposed to do <laughs> minus 15 so again depending on the body of your model you might have something covering here with your clothes so you don't need to do it but you might have to put some glue along the edges here going from the hips to the body and again if you're interested into knowing how glue works i will tell you into my hips tutorial as you can see here there is a lot of glue um and i will show i show you there so i'm not gonna show you again here but what you want to do is uh, take around this portion along the line and put glue here so that when your body goes like this it doesn't break for me now it's looking good and it might look good to you as well but on some models depending on how it's drawn it might break and glue is very essential when that happens we're basically done for body X, body Z. One little tip, I'm showing you this other model that I made. One little tip, when you are making a model that has a lot of hell elements, for example, let's say that you wanted to make a body Z here, okay? 
As you can see, my body is dead, is affecting this strap that I have here. But this strap is also affected by body Z. So for your uh, deformer nesting, you are supposed to put body Z outside and body X inside. If you want a more specific tutorial on how to work about um, the former hierarchy, I also made a tutorial on that, so feel free to check it out. But I explained the theory behind it. Okay, we can now move to head Z. Very easy, just select every element of your head. Like right now, this is a doll that I made for the tutorial, so I only have one layer for the head. But you have to select every layer of the head. Holding shift, you can select how many layers you want. Select all of your head layers, hit this, and make a new rotation deformer called the head Z. Create. Again, hold control and shift to move the rotation point right on the chin. You can do this, and if you see that you missed some more of the element, don't panic. No panic. You can, let's say that this was back hair and you didn't select it, you can just drag and drop. And it's gonna move as well with the head. Um, so we do the same thing. You grab head Z, make it active here. Um, pull like um, minus 15 again. Yes, it's working. And 15. Okay, and this is the thing. What I advise you with the head Z though is to make the neck also move with it. Uh, otherwise, when you are working with a head X, Y, and Z, your neck might, might break in some places. So let's make a new warp deformer containing the neck and let's call it neck head Z. Please make your deformers and everything with a specific name that means something. In this case, we're calling this neck because it's containing neck head Z because we are deforming this in head head Z parameter. Right now you don't see the neck, it's a little bit messy, so what we can do is select both your deformer, warp deformer and the neck and hit solo. Like this you're gonna see the neck that is, will be instead behind the head, but you need to see it. When it rotates to the side, very easy, we can select it maybe like this, rotate a little bit, hold shift, move to, a little bit to the side, select the topper part, again rotate more, shift, move it to the side. Okay, let's see how it looks. You can put the smooth here, smooth it out a little bit. Mm -hmm. Your aim here just to make it follow the movement of the of the head. Okay, looks good. Let's hit solo to remove uh, this kind of view that you got here. You can click here, reflect motion horizontally. One little tip as well, to, to check your whole head as Z, you can go in uh, physics, hmm. S preview, settings of the cursor tracking, hmm. now go here, in body, uh, so head Z needs to be Y, left mouse button Y, in body Z needs to be left mouse button X, check this out. Isn't it cool? Aww. You can also make it different depending on uh, how your model is, but um, in general, come here and change these things to have a different preview when you move your button and it's gonna look amazing already from the, from the physics panel here. And as you can see, only with a hips Z, Body Z and Head Z, we already have an amazing model, like it moves already so much. You could have a model like this, and then you rig the eyes, the mouth, the eyebrows, and it's ready! And there you go. This was it for today's tutorial, but has anyone ever showed you how to do this? If you're new, you probably need this, and this is something I feel everyone should do, like... If you're making tutorials, don't overlook these things. Maybe there is someone that needs it, maybe no one will see this video, I don't know. If you needed it then here you are. I hope you enjoyed my video. If it was helpful for you, feel free to leave a comment if you have any problems, whatever suggestion, whatever, share it with your friends if you have any. 
<laughs> thank you for coming remember to pass by my stream if you want and i will see you into the next video bye bye don't remember to leave a like subscribe and uh, share i will kill you <coughs> bye bye <laughs>